Another new and efficient tool provided by XR7 is the ability to color surfaces and or faces on your parts. For example, here you can see we have a solid model. All right, but you'll also notice that I had the ability to change the color of some of these surfaces or faces. Now the reason why this is important is because these colors can flag you or your programmers to represent things like a different surface finish or maybe a certain set of tools that need to be used to perform the machining on that area of the part. Other uses of colors could be clamping locations or fixture details and things like that. Very, very nice new tool provided by XR7. Let me quickly show you where that is. If we look over here on the main toolbar, if I click on model colors, you can see a brand new suite of commands here. We take a look at this first one called color surface. Once I left hand click, you can see that this is a brand new color palette. It provides a favorites list here. You can also select whatever color you'd like. For example, I'm going to choose this light blue color and all I have to do is just hover over a surface and left hand mouse click and one CNC will quickly color that surface. And what's very nice about this is this still remains one solid model. In past versions of one CNC, you'd have to explode this solid model into individual surfaces to get the same type of effect. So a very nice new powerful feature within XR7 is the ability to work with colors and your surfaces.